Hello friends. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a little bit of a bookish this or that. And my husband's going to be joining me for this. Some of the this or that are pretty basic. Do you prefer paperbacks or hardbacks? Those types of questions. And then some of them are more romance tropes sort of themed because the month of October is actually 10 years for Sean and I to be together. So I thought it'd be fun to have some just random something romance book themed. <laughs> so we're gonna be swapping where he's gonna be sitting and I'll be asking him some this or that questions and then we'll reverse. If you hear loud breathing and snorting, Luna Bear is rolling around on the ground. <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna get started. So Sean's going to be sitting here first. <laughs> this is the romantic hero edition of the bookish this or that. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> well, we'll figure it out yeah. as we go. <laughs> so the first question, this the first this or that. Okay. Alpha male or down to earth? Um, <laughs> I like how uncomfortable you immediately got. <laughs> clearly, I'm an alpha male. No, we're not asking you. No, which no, no. One you are. <laughs> I would obviously, uh, you know, you like would, what I what I am. You want right? to see yourself? Yeah, exactly. Media yeah, and yeah. Um, no, down to earth. I think is. Uh, you don't want to guide my it. style. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. You don't want to guide it. I'll put it this way: If you're like the guy who's like too loud at the gym playing basketball, or just at the gym working out, I'm like, shh, it's okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Next. Sure. <laughs> Billionaire or small town guy? Which one would you rather have? Can we make your... them ladies, you know, because this is a billionaire lady or a small sure. town gal? Sure, okay, yeah. Okay, small town gal. Okay. And the reason is I have a criteria. Yes. And I feel like this is a good time to explain. <laughs> if a young woman seems like she would play catch with me, that is how you know. That she's your type. She's your type. Exactly. And fellas, you can take that to the bank. Or... Unless you like the billionaire. If you are an older fella, it's, she doesn't have to be a young lady. <laughs> well, that's true. For you personally. A yes. woman of your... An age-appropriate age. <laughs> lady. <laughs> yes, Sean has his criteria of, mm -hmm. would she play catch with me? And if she wouldn't, he's like, no. But, Sean, that's, that's kind of unfair to rich people are you saying all rich women look like they wouldn't play catch with you no not at all maybe there are some what if the billionaire small... women who know how to throw what if a the ball small town gal is from a small town that cost a lot to live in what if she's super prissy well then that's changing the question no there's just more to <laughs> so this is difficult now what would you rather in the guy Okay, so it's not just for you, it's the guy of the story. Would you rather the guy be a billionaire or a small town guy? If it's, So the questions are if I'm going to read a romance book, which I would prefer. Or I still, a book where there I is I still romance. would say small town guy, small town fella. I don't like this billionaire, like, power dynamic thing. <laughs> because you're so down to earth. Yeah, so down yeah. to earth. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I made the noise. I know why I did it. It's because I actually feel like you've read books that would have these types of characters. All right, hit me. So, with criminal or man in uniform? Criminal or man in uniform? I mean, criminal is more fun, isn't it? Right? Like, there's like it's a little daring, a little dangerous. <laughs> You like the down to earth criminals. You like <laughs> yeah, just your Robin average Hood. guy. Yeah, who steals <laughs> sometimes. Playboy or family man? <laughs> well, I guess family man. Why well? Well, I guess I I'm yeah I was confused. Family man is in like he's fun with his own family because in my head I think a family man like someone who's already married. You know, like he's married and has a family. So oh, I was like, "That's." So I was like, "What are we getting at here? Is this like a adultery, an extramarital <laughs> thing?" Because I was like, "Then otherwise." <laughs> so yeah, I guess if it's family man, as in like he loves his parents. Yeah, hangs out. Yeah, with his parents, and 
dogs or something. <laughs> and yeah. So you? <laughs> Musician or athlete? Mm. That's actually kind of tough. That is kind that of tough. We met in music school. <laughs> I guess musician. They can be brooding, though. You know? That's true. But s- some people like brooding. But Also, athletes, maybe they're too intense, you know? They're, well, actually, both of them can be intense. Yeah. Both of them are focused on their, you know, careers and their practice. Yeah. So... Kind of hard. If it were Do a they lady, even have time for a relationship? That's true. Yeah. How did we find time for each other? <laughs> I guess I would say musician. Royalty or politician? Royalty or politician? Actually, a good one. Hmm. Um... I just want to say something. This is all very vague for me. I I don't think I've ever read a single romance book in my life. That's not true. You read Get a Life, Chloe Brown. I read Get a Life, Chloe Brown. I read one one romance book. A challenge that involved us ranking. Don't remember this. Sexy men in fiction. Don't you don't recall? I remember that part. Both of us really like Roy Mustang. That's true. I'm gonna go politician because I'm not into the. historical royal thing if i want to read uh historical fiction i'm more of a 20th century kind of dude so i would take that to my romance reading i guess as well i don't want any i don't want i guess my thing with historical romance is like you guys should have so many diseases like (laughs) or you know I don't know. Just so many things could kill someone in like 1400. So, you know, I just, I don't buy it. (laughs) (laughs) You know, it doesn't have to be old to have royalty be, you know, there are people who are considered royalty now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Last one for the romance edition. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. That's quick. Bad boy or nice guy? Nice guy. Of course. Yeah. Now we're going to do the regular versions, okay? Oh, I didn't know. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Paperback or hardback? Rapid fire. Oh, uh, paperback. Okay. Would you rather meet your favorite author or meet your favorite character? Author. Classics or new releases? I think somewhere between the two. I don't keep up with the new releases, but I don't read a whole lot of what I call classics either. It's just there's a lot of books <laughs> that exist. <laughs> Already. Would you rather be a published author or a published reviewer? I don't know. That's a tough question. I don't strive to be either, but I guess I would say author? I don't know. Fiction or nonfiction? Oh, I don't know either. Wait, I, I, have I to go, go back and forth. I have to go back to the previous one and just say, you know, your grocery store uh, postmodern book that you started is... It's very derivative garbage it's the next great american novel yes absolutely fiction or non-fiction um i go through phases so i i don't know i actually don't know depends on what yeah yeah unlimited free books or live inside your favorite book oh definitely unlimited free books of course i don't need to live in i don't know i don't know where i'd live it's yeah okay favorite book as a film or favorite book as a tv series my favorite book as a film or a TV series? Uh, I think it'd have to be a TV series for everything that I'm thinking of. Read in bed or read on sofa? Sofa. <laughs> Library or bookstore? Um, I think we've been frequent... I mean, we go to the bookstore, I'd say, more often, but we've been going to the library more. I do like the... I feel like the library, I'm more apt to just grab something because it's like, if I don't like it, right. just bring it back. But I, I think in the bookstore, I'm sometimes like, I don't know if I should get this. Not allowed new books or not allowed to reread? I have to pick one. If I'm either yeah. not allowed new books, so I can only reread, or I can't reread. That's basically what it is, right? Well... Yeah, I don't know if that means, like, can you I mean, still... I, have, I have lots of books that I haven't read, so... Um, So not allowed new books, or I can't reread. Oh, that's hard, actually. I don't know. I have a lot of books. I'll say not allowed new books. I'll get through all those. There you go. Swap. All right, this or that romantic hero edition. 
alpha male or down to earth? Down to earth. Okay. Yeah, let's see how many of these are exactly the same. same so far, one for one. Billionaire or small town guy? I think the small town guy. My only thing, though, is sometimes when people lean into certain tropes, they lean into it where it it just becomes a stereotype and a cliche. So the small town guy sometimes is like, I just don't get, you know, the big city folk. <laughs> and it can be a really cheesy. Um, but I think like a nice, uh, just a person that, I don't know. I will say small town What if he's guy. like bailing hay, you know, get, got those big farm muscles. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for, that very much helped. Yes. You know? Criminal or man in uniform. I mean, I think it makes for a... Uh, you said this, too. The story can be a lot more fun, I think, a lot of times when the yeah. characters are criminal. As long as they're, like you said, a nice criminal, right? They're not some horrible person. But, that, would be, that would be bad. Yeah. yeah, but, I mean, if they're... I think there's a lot of commentary that you can have with mm -hmm. the criminal character. Like, why are they a criminal? Like, what are they doing this for? Do they have a family member they care about, or... Anyway, uh, but you know, yeah, no, criminal. All right, yeah. yeah. So, so far, three for So three. far, exactly right. the same. Playboy or family man? So family man, except we both love Roy Mustang, and I feel like he is a little bit of a, mm. a playboy, and we both really like Roy Mustang. But I feel like that's a... Front. Yeah, it's a disguise. It's like, he's like Batman, you know, he's like Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I guess what I'm saying is I think that that character can be... Maybe there's something hidden beneath. Yeah. So what's your answer? <laughs> if it's that kind of playboy where it's a front for some reason, then that would be my answer. But if we're talking just a guy that loves to... If we're talking about like almost like a womanizer, then obviously not. I feel like that's what we're talking about. Not that. Yeah. Four for four. All right. Musician or athlete? Here's why I'm going to go with athlete. <gasps> Only because I'm very picky with how musicians are written. And a lot of times I feel like people write musicians with this idea of how they... What's that movie with the drummer? Oh, Whiplash. Not... Wait. You just... Yeah. I won't go into Whiplash. I don't know if you all know what that is, but there is this stereotype of how musicians are where everybody's like, we practice so much, we're so dedicated to our craft, which is true, but it turns into where we just are not human beings, basically, and we're like these abstract fey people. And I'm like, that's not accurate. We are yeah. normal human beings that just work really hard at this skill, and I just find a lot of the musician type of stereotypes in books are very inaccurate. And it can irritate me. If it's written well, though, we'll go musician. That's just that's such, a an, long answer. That's such yeah. an annoying <laughs> answer. Sorry. So I'm going to say we disagreed on that one. Because I think your initial answer was athlete. It's your initial gut reaction. Royalty or politician? This is where we're going to disagree. Royalty because you often get politics woven in. Uh, you right. almost it's okay. almost necessary i think okay all right okay i'm still thinking of this from a fantasy lens mm. i don't want i don't i've found so far the historical romances i don't like that well i can't be with you because you're a poor lady <laughs> like that like how could i possibly ever and i'm just it annoys me and i just don't care for that fantasy where there's a romantic plot line that is significant and if that's the case, royalty, because they're usually inherently tied to the politics. All right, okay. Yeah. And bad boy or nice guy? Oh, well, I mean, if nice guy, for my personal taste, I think a lot of times writers have fun with the, the bad boy character type, though. Mm -hmm. Kaz Brecker is not a nice guy, but I think a lot of people like reading about but Kaz is, Brecker. Is that a, ro a romance, though? No. Yeah. But, <laughs> again, I'm thinking fantasy, so. All right. I like how I kind of didn't really answer the last three. That is true. That's all right. We'll go into the normal 
this or that. All right. Paperback or hardback? I'm going to be very basic here and say paperback for reading, hardback for the shelf. If I, uh, I like the feel of a paperback while you're reading it, and I like the look of a hardback. All right. Would you rather meet your favorite author or meet your favorite character? My favorite characters are mean. I think a lot of them. Um, but I've met Brandon Sanders, so would I meet him again? <laughs> Could meet another author. Could meet Jen Williams. You know what? I'm going to go meet your favorite character. Oh. Because I don't know what to say. I really I'm like good... your box. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> mean, with Sanderson, it was like, I really like Magic the Gathering also. I think I would embarrass myself and I'd get nervous. Um, so, it, some of my, oh, I would, man, Kaladin, though, I would not know what to say to Kaladin other than, like, I feel you, man. <laughs> Sometimes it's tough being a person and being alive. But Yennefer would be so mean to me. I feel like Yennefer wouldn't like me, and I don't feel like Vin would like me either, and I would be, that would make me sad, because then I'd be like, but I love you so much. <laughs> Could be Vi. You know... Oh my gosh! <laughs> Me, my favorite character. Thank you, Sean. Yes, that is what I'm answering. I love Vi so much. I got so loud. Yeah. I'm really excited. I should have just thought of, in the romance version, like which one is more like Vi. And mm. then that is my answer to all of Bad them. boy. Vi! Sort of. Yeah. Um, athlete. Yeah. I'd say kind of family man, though. He yeah. Cares about her sister. Yeah. Criminal. Down to earth, but also alpha. Kind of hard. Um, yeah, she's... <laughs> between the two of us, she would be the alpha. <laughs> so, just every question from now on is just which one does Vi fit into? Perfect. I don't know if all of you realize how much I love Vi. It's a lot. Classics or new releases? <laughs> I don't know what... <laughs> which one possibly new releases. Be a published author or be a published reviewer? Author. Ah, very good. Fiction or non-fiction? Well, I think we know Same. that. Non-fiction. No, I'm just Same answer as what Sean said. Um, obviously, I read fiction a lot more, but non-fiction is very important, and it's good for when you want to learn. They just have such different purposes, so I, I don't really... They feel almost too different to even... I read fiction more often so i guess i'll say fiction unlimited free books or live inside your favorite book i would die immediately likely if i lived in my favorite books so unlimited free books favorite book as a film or favorite book as a tv series tv series of course movies are not gonna do they're not gonna be what enough. is your favorite book or what are you thinking of when you're saying tv it doesn't have to be like your absolute favorite book what what came to mind any <laughs> any of my favorites Fireborn, Mistborn, Storm My Archive, okay. Winnowing Flame. Full Metal already has a show. Technically already has a movie. Isn't there a live action that's is, really yeah. bad? Read in bed or read on the sofa? Uh, in bed? But I do read on the sofa a lot too. Yeah. I, I'm going to say in bed because I feel like I... Pull the coffee. We have a coffee table that has wheels, so then I'll like pull the coffee table toward me. Put your feet up. Put my feet up. But then I, I don't know. I just feel like I'm always messing up the couch and the mm. coffee table. Where in bed, it's like I mean, it's where you lay down already. <laughs> That's kind of what you do there. Library or bookstore? Library, mm. because they, I think, overall provide a lot more for the community oh, that's nice not allowed new books or not allowed to reread okay so i when i found this this or that i seriously sat there and i thought about this one for so long because i don't uh i don't know because obviously i like to reread my favorites yeah. and it's so a tough question i'm going to make it so that this fits and makes it easy for me to answer. So, I don't have to get a new book. I can get a used book. So Boo. Answer the question. I can also, I can go to the library. Boo. I can go to the library because then I'm not buying the book. It's not brand new. That's true. I'll give you that one. So, I just, I would be fine never purchasing another book if that meant 
I could reread my favorites still, or just reread books in general. Yeah. Yeah. But if the question is truly, you never read another book again that you haven't yet read? No, not even that's just new to me. I mean, like if that's the question new to you. That's true. Then definitely. If that is true, then I change my answer. Yeah. Yeah. It's too vague. It is too ambiguous. Yeah. What do you mean by new? Do you mean like a new release? Like what is new, man? <laughs> and nothing's really a new idea these days. Everything has been done before. Wow, so deep. So in a way, there is no new book. So there's in a question. Way I'm rereading everything. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Here, Sean, come into frame oh. for the end of the video. Oh, my back. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> End of the Yay. video. Hey, thanks everybody for watching this, this or that. Thanks to Sean for joining. We always like having Sean on. Happy 10 years together for us. Seven years married this year, 10 years together. So, yay. I love him a lot. He's the best. And he loves me too. It I actually do. says so on his shirt. It does. You should show them. This was not planned. <laughs> this feels... Uh, interesting given the context of the this or that there we go i love my wife anyway thanks everybody for watching we love each other we appreciate all of you and let us know your answers to these questions i hope you have a lovely rest of your day and we'll see you later bye